You've got to tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I host the Midday Show, and I'm very excited to have a good friend live in studio here today. It's Mac McCann here with his band, The Nonbelievers. Welcome, Matt. Thanks. Good morning. You're a frequent visitor to the KEXP airwaves, but the first time we've had you in this incarnation. It's the first time since the fancy lights and curtains and... Video cameras are all in here. It's very exciting, and I love the new record, Nonbelievers, and I'm very Thank excited you. to hear you perform those live on KEXP. Why don't you take it away? Thanks. We're going to play, uh, it's actually the first song on Nonbelievers, and it's called uh, Your Hologram. McCon and the Non-Believers live on KEXP. All right, we're going to do uh, another song from the album Non-Believers, and the song's called Lost Again.
That sounds fantastic. Thank you. Mac McCon and the Nonbelievers live on KEXP. And that was two songs from the new album, Nonbelievers. Mac, that's your first record under your own name. It is my first solo LP. <laughs> Not your first record, though. You've got a quarter of a century of record making under your belt, uh, of course, with Super Chunk, Port Static. And you've been doing some film scoring um, lately. And now this solo record. And I'm curious to know how this got started. I've actually seen you play some solo shows um, in the past years. Sure. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe because all the other band members were busy, you were out doing that because you don't like grass to grow <laughs> underneath you. And I'm thinking, how did the record kind of come out of all that? Well, I guess I just started, um, you know, since the last Super Chunk record came out and since we kind of stopped touring uh, for that record, I'd just been writing songs like I normally do in my studio, but without a real plan for them, for kind of for different purposes, some for, like you said, like soundtracks and things like that, um, but just, just writing and making demos. Uh, but then, actually, once I wrote uh, the song Your Hologram, the first song we played, um, that kind of brought into focus uh, like an idea for the record in terms of how it was going to sound and even like subject matter, which is kind of related to how it sounds, which has like a, it's sort of an early eighties, um, vibe in terms of, um, the songs, but also the, the instruments I was using and the keyboards and drum machines and things like that. Uh, and so once that song was, was written and started recording it, it kind of led to the rest of the record and then it, it's un under my own name because I, I didn't feel like reviving uh, Porta Static and uh, I didn't feel like coming up with a whole other band name because that, that would be kind of, I don't know, that would feel like starting starting back at the beginning too much. Um, so my name was there. I decided to use it. You mentioned that you sort of captured a specific time and place and that's really your teenage years and your adolescence. Are you writing about 
that specific period in your life? I mean, what was your adolescence like and what music were you listening to? And what was inspiring you? I think that, um, I mean, at, at, at that time in my life, in the early 80s, I was listening to uh, like hardcore bands and then also just whatever was on the college radio stations, um, which was a pretty wide range, as you can imagine, from like SST bands like the Meat Puppets and things like that to uh, New Order, um, you know, the Cocteau Twins, uh, bands like that. So, I, for you know, for a 14 or 15-year-old in North Carolina, anything that was weird and cool sounding, was that was good enough for us. It, we, we were not... Uh, we were not partisans to a specific genre of music, you know, um, and we would go see any bands that we could. Uh, so uh, th- in terms of the music, it was kind of all over the place, but with this record, I was thinking specifically about, um, you know, the, the bands in the new wave and and also, you know, I guess what then and maybe now would, would be called goth, um, you know, bands like The Cure and, like I said, the Cocteau Twins, stuff like that, Bauhaus. Um, in addition to, you know, in North Carolina at that time, Let's Active, uh, Mitch Easter and Let's Active were making records and, um, you know, that style of, that style of pop music, um, Tommy Keen as well was on a, a label based in North Carolina. Like I was thinking about those songs and those guitar sounds and that kind of thing as stuff that we were really excited about uh, at the time. You were making music and playing in bands at a very young age, and were you incorporating those sounds at that time into your music, or is using that sort of instrumentation, which was very new then? Well, right, at the time, like, we couldn't, no one, I think I had one friend that had a synthesizer that his parents got him on his 16th birthday or something like that, but for the most part, I mean, we had we had guitars and guitars and bass and drums, but the band that I was in in high school, we did, we did a lot of covers many of which were sourced from the album Erga Music War, the soundtrack to that movie. I think we did covers of like five songs from that, <laughs> from that, from that movie by, you know, The Police and XTC and um, uh, Athletico Spiz 80. I don't know if you're a fan, but, uh, you know, bands like this, is, that's kind of the, the music that we were playing. And I think the songs that we wrote sounded like those bands also. I'm sure we've got tons of fans of that band out there in the <laughs> KEXB listener land. It's so great to hear you performing these songs live. Did you, you have a fantastic band with you here in studio today. And I'm wondering, did you use a band in studio? I know you have like a basement recording studio and uh, probably can record anytime you like. Did you do everything yourself? On the record, I played everything myself except uh, for Seattle resident uh, Michael Benjamin Lerner, who plays drums on the song Our Way Free. I tried doing it. I tried it with a drum machine. I tried playing drums myself. None of it was working, and I knew that Michael uh, could nail that song, and he did. So other than um, Michael helping out, um, uh, Michael from Telekinesis, I, I played everything else. And then when it came time to play live, um, I knew these guys were a great band on their own, the Flesh Wounds, and, um, and I was friends with them, and uh, it just made sense to try to do it live with guitars instead of dragging synthesizers around because that's a that's a tough way to tour. Well, and that was going to be my next uh, question. You do use a lot of fun synthesizers. I understand you collect them to some degree, and yet here you are today rocking out and playing these songs with guitars, and they it sounds fun and great to hear them in this way. Yeah, and I think that, I mean, I always like bands that present their songs, if the songs are really good, present them in different formats, different ways, um, live. And so I figure, you know, if the songs are good enough, they'll, people will enjoy them, even if they're attached to a particular, you know, fake string sound that's on the, that's on the record. Well, Mac McCon and the Non-Believers are on tour now. Last night they played in Seattle. Tonight they're heading down to Portland, Oregon. And I was going to ask if uh, you're just playing Mac McCon songs, but it looks to me like you might have a Port Static song coming up. We, we do have a Port Static song coming up. And at these shows that we're doing, um, we've been playing a mix of songs from Non-Believers and, and Port Static songs, and I play some Super Chunk songs by myself, and we do covers, and it's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of all over the map, which is really fun. It can be whatever we whatever we want it to be. So that does sound fun. We'd love to hear more music. It's Mac McCon and the Nonbelievers live on KEXP. All right, this is an old song called San Andreas.
Live in the KEXP studios, it's Mac McCann and the Non-Believers. All right, we're going to do one more song here that um, is from the Non-Believers record, and this song is called Come Upstairs.
Ah, it sounds so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mac McCann's new album, Non-Believers, out on Merge Records. And Montgomery, Jeff, Laura, Mac, thank you so much for coming by today. Thanks for having us. You sound fantastic. It's Mac McCann and the Non-Believers live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.